A family, this is great news, grateful tonight after search teams rescued their father who has been missing for five days. Great news here, the 81-year-old man who suffers from dementia went missing from his home in Hammond this past Friday. Search parties from multiple departments and multiple parishes scoured the heavily wooded areas along George Wool Road. Uh, so without food or without water, this man survived long enough to be rescued. If you can believe this, it's amazing. Tom Trung shows us how they rescued him. That's all I'm thinking about is snakes. Snakes, thick woods, and an 81-year-old with dementia. All of those factors kept Terrilyn and Earl done up at night as crews searched for their missing father. And I just had a feeling of helplessness because I didn't know exactly what to pick up from. His family always tried to keep track of Dunn, but last Friday, he wandered off. We did not have any kind of witnesses that saw him walk in to those woods there. You know, he disappeared. He was gone. The Tangipaho Sheriff's Office quickly organized multiple teams to search for Dunn from the air, on the ground, and on the water. A lot of manpower, a lot of volunteers. Authorities focused their search around Dunn's home in Hammond, a perimeter that was about 160 acres of thick woods. After four days with no results, concern grew. But if he was in the woods, that's when my anxiety really kicked in. On Tuesday, a searcher found a pair of jeans. It was in the woods just a few hundred yards from the home. When I saw him, like, those are daddy's pants. At that point, I was inside, I was just torn up. A short time later, Earl Dunn was on a stretcher, dehydrated and suffering from hypothermia, but alive. Because I just couldn't believe it. And while I was relieved, I was praising God, relieved. When searchers found Mr. Dunn, five days had passed. He had been laying in some water. His family believes his career as a logger helped him survive those days. He was a strong man. You know, he had a, a willpower to live. And I think that's what kept him alive, that and the graces of God. Chief Jimmy Travis says many searches don't end up with a survivor story. He believes prayers and persistence made this outcome possible. They never gave up. They just wanted to stay in there. They wanted to, they wanted to find Mr. Dunn. We were grateful for yes. them. We just praise God that mm -hmm. they were around. What matters most is where he is now. In Tangipahoe Parish, Tan Trung, Eyewitness News.